Good evening. I don't know what happened there. I thought it had broken again. So where are we? We haven't got a lot left to do. We've got to finish this head and this base. Let's do this head first. Actually, no, let's do this base first. We've got to put a wash on there. I'm going to put a dirty brown wash. We want some Agraxing Earthshade. There we don't. I'm lying again. We want some Null Oil. This is the pot that refuses to stay open. I'm going to use the magic wash pot holder for this. See? Did you see that? I saw that. And I'm going to run this down the edge of that road and just around the details. And a bit of dabbing just to blend it a touch. Dabbing. Dabbing around anything that is a, a detail. Just to get That's all we wanted. Just like that, eh? If we can scoop that crap to the edges. That's all right, I'm quite pleased with how that just turned out. You know, sometimes you think that might turn out a bit, a bit poor. Um, looks like I need some new brush wipes. We'll do that now. With my um, special Lamenters brush wipes. Didn't need a drink though. Got one of those clicky things they had um, on D Day. Right, let us begin. We shall paint the head. Then I'm going to go back, do like a yellow stripe down that road. Is that, is that a safe idea? Is that a good idea? No, I'm just going to do some dirt down the road and some splodges. Um, oh, I'm losing the plot here. I need some black. I'm going to finish this eye. not the correct brush. We need a tiny bit of black and we're going to paint his uh, eye lens. So I'm going to do a green eye lens. Oh, he's got a couple of three lenses in there, has he? He's a greedy man. And we might have to do a bit of goldy, goldy tidy up. I'm out of it because it's going to start splashing down. I don't know if that's a lens or not, that other bit. We'll guess it is. That's a lens. 
Let's paint it like a lens anyway, you know. You can't go wrong. Okay, easy. Hmm. Right. Shall we use our old friend Snotty Green again? A lot of bit of snot green. I am going to have to do those lines on that road, otherwise it's not going to look like a road. But where we're going, we do need roads. We do. Right, let's green this uh, lens up. Where is it? I've lost it now. Now normally I would paint my lenses as if they were a gem. But these are so small and inside, I'm just going to do the old glowy, glowing hole trick. I won't worry about the bits of paint going everywhere else because we'll paint over those with a bit of gold. There we go, I'm going to get some white, mix it into that. going to be a short and special stream tonight I think because uh, we don't have a lot of work to do at all. But that's all right. There we go, I'm going to just add to the middle of those lenses. So we've got a bit of white mixed in with the green, and we'll do it again. We're aiming more for the center of the eye, but you know, it's not going to show up well. But it's such a tiny piece. go a little stab in the middle then I'll try that put a little green wash on and then one little white stab I think That'd be the way to do this Purple lenses would have actually been quite good in that yellow. But we are now committed. And that's all right. We need our wash brush. Now, I'm not too bothered if we get a bit of uh, green bounce off because it'll just look like reflect reflections reflections or something similar we go it's looking all right up those bits we screwed up Mr. Brooks, how is one this evening? 
We're so close to the end here. Okay, now we have to try and draw a yellow line freehand down that road. This isn't going to come out well, I feel. We've got something we can uh, line it in with. I wonder if I could make a stamp. A stamp. No, that would look awful, wouldn't it? I may say bugger it, to be honest. I think it may detract. I'll tell you what, if it looks shit, we can just put some more of that colour on, can't we? We can do that. Very tired, eh? What have you been up to? How have you knackered yourself out? Oh, fudge. What have you done? Could use the old weathering trick actually on this yellow. I'll do it yellow and then paint around it with the uh, other colour. So it's going to be around here somewhere. Go and find the middle. <laughs> One end of town to the other. Why is my question to you? Why would you do such a thing? Hey, that was straighter than I anticipated. I'm not going to complain about that. We do it another little coat on the other side. Placement bank card. I hope it didn't get stolen. There we go, there's a nice yellow line down there. And it's not that wonky. But I feel it needs a bit of breaking up. Do that with our mate Gray. Thank you, Mr. Richard Lamb. That's very kind of you to say so. We're not very far off, to be honest. If I use the wrong colour here, just break it up a touch. Might be able to straighten those lines as well. This is like 
semi-professional. A, di uh, disgruntled, uh, a disintegrated bank card doesn't sound easy to use. Ah, the old popped into Hobbycraft problem and uh, came out considerably uh, less rich than when he went in. don't like the way that it shows your full name I do apologize and we we won't do that anymore uh, I don't I don't know if you can change it can you you might be able to fiddle around with some settings somewhere and change the uh, name it gives you but yeah we have a Reva arriving on Saturday assuming the pre-order went through okay but my fear is it won't get out of the box before the Rogue Trader set turns up. And then I think the Rogue Trader set's going to take priority. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, no, I'm definitely not your mother. So I'll try not to. Post up some bits. Hello, hello, hello. Hold on, hold on. We've got a big issue here. Look at that. That's better. What day is it today? Wednesday? It concerns me you can't actually see what I'm doing here on this face. But... I'm not doing a lot. to do some tire screech marks where someone's braked in a sudden and gave someone who's in the passenger seat whiplash perhaps has anyone ever had whiplash yep yeah, the Nurgle stuff I'm not actually sure I'll never paint that Nurgle, Nurgle, Nurgle stuff. So I might, might be competition time. I could give that away. Sell it. What? Oh, the middle name. What is the embarrassing double barrel middle name? Are we allowed to know it? more of the old yellow short and Irish oh we should have painted a manhole cover <laughs> no Titans parking along the road Um, what else can we actually paint on that base? I'm not. I'm tempted to say nothing. I wasn't going to over egg it. We can finish this head anyway. Get his head finished, and we can give him a head.
how would you clamp a Titan? You get about 600 people all clinging to the leg. I don't know. What does a Titan garage look like? Do they have them? Old fudge pack as there's a Oh, it's all going horribly wrong. Ah, <laughs> uh -uh. that is a clever move. I've just screwballed this up. No matter. Nothing we can't save with a bit of that more. So I'm going to say Stormgrad Games is rich. It's going to be my guess. Why have I still got this on the table, hey? Time to just spam the chat. The Shatter Dome from Pacific Rim. I've seen Pacific Rim, but I don't remember a Shatter Dome. Is that more in the second one? Because I haven't seen the second one yet. There we go, fixed. One little green wash. Now I've just got to repaint that purple and we can stick his head on. Watching on the TV, chatting in the phone. Oh, okay, so it's like a double watch. My question is, should I be painting these things? The uh, I just realised I may have made a big cock up of my Titan. If you've uh, put your Titan not square to the base, where do you do your movement measuring from? Does he walk around sideways? Because it looks like this thing goes on the front. But he's actually facing this way. Interesting. I hope there's no one going to complain about those. Yeah, these look like they need painting. Bare plastic is awful. I think they're gold, aren't they, in the uh, book? I've got three of those. There's a tiny one as well. Someone will probably use these for making details on something. So they're actually quite snazzy. Anyway. Getting off, off point here, aren't I? I'm supposed to be painting this head. We need some gold. Where's the gold? There's the gold. More gold trim. I agree. Do you ever do that thing when you think a colour is dry on your palette and then just smear your brush all in it? Or is that just a stupid thing I do? Tidying up here. Clean up that green, although it looks a bit like verdigris. Whiz that to the edge, and then that'll look like a highlight. That'll look like I meant to do it. Ha <laughs> I meant to do that, honest. 
a month after a decade off. I think we all do that sometime or another, don't we? We quit for a long time. And then we always all end up coming back. But what is it that brings us back? <laughs> yeah, it's horrible, isn't it? But sometimes that might be the way to make that interesting colour mix. Right, that head's done. Car nearly had blue bone. Let's get dry that wash in between his crotch. I haven't finished that back of that sign, and that concerns me. Has anyone ever seen the um, video on YouTube uh, by Bardic Broadcasts and talks about Hero Quest being the best game? If uh, if you haven't seen that, I thoroughly recommend it. I found it very entertaining. <laughs> You've seen it. That is a good video. Now, where is my dry brush? I'll use this one. I can't find the other one. Oh, moving around. Sounds harsh. I went to Edinburgh once. We climbed Arthur's seat. Be quite gentle with this. Here's Mr. Bannockburn as well. He's happy. I hope he's happy anyway. How are we? It was good up that mountain. Where else did we go? We went in the castle. And then, I probably shouldn't admit this publicly, we went in a local Scottish pub. And they said, would you like to try a flight of whiskey? Never having tried one of these before. And uh, we were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll said, uh, they said, there's like a menu from like number one was weak piss, easy stuff, easy mode, down to the bottom. And we're like, we'll try the first one, see how we get on. Yeah, we didn't finish the first one. That was that was that was hideous. It tasted like TCP. That might have been TCP. They might have been having a laugh. He's happy, apart from when he's not happy. This is true, I think I suffer from the same problem. A bit of blending on there. Right, let's chuck that road wash on. Let's clean this brush out. <laughs> I didn't see the swans, but I saw the ponds. And um, I don't know what TCP tastes like. I, you know the smell, don't you? It tasted like the smell of TCP. It was hideous. Oh, a girl who worked in the whiskey experience. Was she permanently pissed? I think I would be if I worked in it. Well, no, I'd be completely sober. I'd be the best person to have work in there because I wouldn't drink the stuff. Right, let's put this other wash. Why is it these last few stages take forever? Let's glue his head on. Yeah, we had to put it as far down and right as possible from what I remember. If we don't like it. Oh look, it sticks in by itself. 
<laughs> you were. You were constantly pissed. Was she giving you free alcohol? In which case I can understand. Have some more of this lemonade. What is the right time? There we go. Get on their head. Done. The head is on. There we go. He's been waiting for his head for a long time. I wonder what it's like to have to wait for head. Okay. Does that fit in there? No. Well, this uh, is now empty. Stick my finger in that little hole. Mmm. <laughs> Had one too many ciders. When this cider is finished, there will be no more cider. My uh, stomach says you're getting too fat. <laughs> Unmemorable four years. Four years of um, being unable to remember anything. Right, let's do the rim. No, it's not the rim. It's the wash. I'm gonna wash the roadway, make it look a bit dirty. It might look terrible, but there you go. Stick some wash in the gutter. we go. I think this will do. This is just like lining in the road to make it a bit more obvious what it is. If it's not obvious. Go in there. Right. Let's do the edge wash. liquid crack time and that will be monster energy drink the uh, the awful tea flavored one <laughs> the baiting that's very kind of you to say i cannot claim credit for that i had uh, mr brooks here and another gentleman called tobias who were talking me through that i was happy to just give it like a, a generic texture i was egged on more and more okay Rim. And then while it dries, we can start painting the uh, other night. I'm intrigued to know how other people paint their base rims. I always like to go for a generic black. There we go. So it's pretty much done now this Titan. We've just got to put the decals on. I'll have to do that tomorrow. Tonight I'll uh, give it a car lacquer varnish. And it'll be super glossy and horrible looking. Needs to do it in a match. Oh, that's it. Rockstar, sorry. I, uh, I remember talking about the tea flavoured one for some reason.
Right, that's uh, stage one rimming done. Incubi Darkness for a rim colour. I don't think I own that paint. What is Incubi Darkness? It's like a lot of green colour. Have I got anything similar? Um, I don't like this paint on here. If I can wash that off. Is it sad that I don't like paint on my work area, even though it's painting? It's very strange. I'm intrigued to uh, try an ink of eye darkness base. Anyway, this Titan is done. Let's stick his bits on. No, he's not done. No, we won't stick his bits on. We'll give that base another rimming. Because we're right near the end, it gets all exciting and you just want to be done and you skip it accidentally, don't you? You ever done that? You're like, yes, it's done. And then the next day, you're like, I've forgotten to paint his feet. Sanding down the paint station, that is something that crosses the mind. But is it worth... No, you couldn't, could you? I was going to say, could you just get another panel of wood and just stick it on the top? But you might not get an even surface if you've got build up the filth. Mr. Metal thing. It happens, doesn't it? I reckon you're getting too excited about having it completed. Right, it's done. I'm calling it done. Well, the part we can do, done. And while that rim dries off a bit more, I'll uh, revisit this little titan, now he needs a wash of the purple. Do I use a black wash or a purple wash? It's just a question. I'm tempted to say purple, it might give it a little bit more, um, whatever the word is. Saturation? I want to say saturation, but it's not. I can't give something more saturation, can I? I don't know. Wash it and see what happens. Quick rough up and key with a coarse grip block. Are oh, you going for the old white surface? Whoops. One shoulder pad. It's annoying just doing little fill in jobs. These nights are a handy little fill in job while you wait for paint to dry there. paint station yeah um my goal is to get a nice big desk i can have a bit more room it's one of those things when you think i'd like to spend money on a desk but i'd also like to spend money on 
new exciting stuff. The new exciting stuff keeps getting priority. Food. Yeah, well, if you're me, you're just eating can salad. Although last night I did have a enjoyable chicken and rice thing. That wasn't salad. That's it, and at 100, 200 quid, I'd probably go and find an IKEA one. That would be the goal to get that IKEA one with like storage on the end, and then get matching storage throughout the room. Storage is an issue here. I've got a lot of space here, which is just full of crap. And the best way to store things, it's just an old chest of drawers with my paints on it. And then really useful boxes. It'd be nice to have a storage system, as it were. But that's later down the line. Has anyone bought this month's White Dwarf magazine? Look what I haven't painted. His neck thing. In between his head. And his gold bit. What a prick. <laughs> I'm going to have to go back and do that. Hmm. 60, 70. I think that's what this was. This original one. But it's just getting too small. Especially when you've got all these cameras and lights and things hanging off it. We shall see how things go. I mean, I can cope with, with things as they are. So I'm used to it. Everything else is just a bonus now. A new bed and a washing machine. Everything always breaks down at the same time, doesn't it? And just as you think you've got the hang of something, something else breaks. It's normally the car. The car is normally the thing that decides to go wrong. Are you getting on all right at the moment? Yes, thanks. No problems. Right, I'm going to break. Can't have you having no problems. <laughs> sounds like a you problem. What have I heard that on? I've heard that somewhere it sounds like a you problem. Is it on suits? Fridge freezer, yeah. But that gives you an opportunity to buy a new fridge freezer with one of the ice machines on it. Do the night bases come pre-detailed? No, nope, these are out of the... Hold on. These come out of this. The Sector Imperialis set. which I never really used. I thought it would be a good idea. But why did they re release Necromunda bases when you could kind of use these? I don't know. I guess they're different. Why am I asking questions? Okay. Just do his little uh, chain sword there. Three litre water dispenser. Ah, oh, so it does like the cool, the cooled water, as opposed to just standard tap water. It sounds like a rich man's piece of equipment. Why is there a draft coming through here?
Can't believe I missed that bit. We were only talking about missing bits, weren't we? I'll get it on the next pass. So I'm hoping in that time, this Titan is dry. He is. He's ready. He's done. Let's attach his bits. Did I glue his arms together? No, it's all right. That was a bit of a worry. They always have to point where they're looking. It's always the key. And there we have one finished Titan. I don't know if you can even see it. Is it showing up? Well, it's not finished. I'm lying again. We've still got to do decals and weathering, haven't we? Dear, oh dear. Let's hold it up. There we go. It is finished. The paint job is finished. So now we're going to dig out some decals and see what we've got. Excuse me for a moment, I need to move some bits from everywhere. These three can come and hang out on here. We both get one, we drink a lot of water. Ah, okay, that's a sensible plan. the 20 minute clock that's come around quick if people wonder what the 20 minute thing is it means I'm getting a message saying someone's coming home from work and can I put the oven on all right let's see what decals we got we have in here Did anyone notice that the templates were blue? I thought that was quite nice. One thing I did notice about this game is that there is no fluff about the actual titans themselves. You know, like tells you about a warlord titan or anything like that. Nothing. Here we go. Warlord titan transfer sheet. A night transfer sheet, we'll have those out. Yeah, I expected a bit of fluff to be honest, but maybe I'm greedy. Take these bits off here. That can go in the bin. Have a look at these decals. Look at this wonderful poster. Or we could have it this way around with uh, instructions, perhaps. Is that a poster? No fluff at all. No, there's a little bit of background information at the start, which just tells you about the heresy where titans come from but normally you only really get a codex and it has the unit entry and it gives you fluff about that specific unit 
I expected that with all the different Titans, you know, I expected like Warlord Titan and a few paragraphs, not just Titans in general. Maybe I'm expecting too much, but I thought that'd be a no-brainer. Okay, what have we got here? Get my poking stick out. We have these sided ones. I don't know where they go. Are they on the leg? They'd be alright. These axes aren't... Are they legion specific? Are they... Griffonicus has the best ones. They have these winged things here. They look quite good. Is that even showing up? There we go. Might be able to see a bit better now. Yeah, so these are all off limits. So we're going to be using these. And we've got a lot of red. So I'm guessing... These white, I like these. I don't know if you can see those. These are like ye olde 1940s Titan badges. I like those. So if we can see them, we can get them in. Yeah, that might be in the old um, campaign book that's coming out. The Titan Death book. Don't like them axes. Those cogs are for the old... Um, What's it? The guns around that were done then. But those black cogs I could put inside the front leg. White cogs inside the right leg. Yeah, this is going together quite well so far. And uh, I don't think any of those other ones will fit in there, will they? How are you going to get... They won't fit. I'm going to have to cut this out so we can check the fit. Where are my choppers? Has anyone else noticed that when you're doing decals, you get annoyed that they're always the wrong size for the hole you want to stick them in or panel you want to put them on. There it goes, see ya. And my goal is that on there, and it won't fit. Okay, they're too big. Dryzer. Um, In which case, we are going to have to use one of each of these for the... So if I stick these on here, I'm going to do something that I don't do very often. That's called being organised. And I'll take down the decals I want for each part. So these, I don't know where we're going to stick them now. Where, are you, where can you even get them? Without that looking weird. I don't know. I think they may be going in the bin. Yeah, I have a nice method now for doing decals, so we're all right. We're all right. Uh, white and white. Yeah, white and white. So these can be the shield decals. There we go. It's all coming together lovely now. Uh, that'd be for the shield. Need a pen. So let go for that. And then we wanted something else. What are the big ones then? They won't go on there, will they? No, these half and half bits, they must have to go on the leg. I'm sure when I saw other people doing this, they had hundreds more transfers than I seem to have. Do they go on the leg? I literally can only find decals to put on the shields. I don't know where to stick these ones. Ah, they'd be if you used the old plain ones, wouldn't they? 
So, oh, we might be able to stick those other bits on the gun arm. We could, however, put those in there on the gun shields. Can we fit anything on the top? That would be nice if we could get that on there, but we have an awful seam line, which is just going to be a problem. I vote do it. Do I vote do it? Yeah, I'd say bugger it. We'll use them little eagles for the missile launches. Missiles! And, um... That means we probably have a couple of decals spare. Hmm. Where can I use these ones? Are they using them on the leg? I don't know if they'll fit. I like these ones with multiple colours in. I'm intrigued to see. I might have a look in the old manual and see where they've stuck them. But will they fit on the leg? Where do these go then? It may just fit on the outside of the leg. It wouldn't fit on his nuts. We'll put that on the leg. Outside's the leg. Leg out. And I reckon the only other one we're going to have is that double one, which definitely goes either side of the other leg. Bing. What? That doesn't fit. <laughs> Literally doesn't fit on there. That is bizarre. What have they designed this bit for then? There's like a split piece, which I thought went either side of his leg. Oh, is it for his crotch? No, the leg already has that design on, to be fair. Looks like it's going to go either side of something to split down the middle. Is it the old parts we don't have again? Yeah, I think it would have been if you didn't have the logo. So that is a botched logo. So we're getting bugger all decals out of this. Okay. That's fine. I can cope with that. I don't know why I've got the night ones out. I'm not going to use them yet. So we have a few we can use. Let's have a look in the old manual. I'm of course lost. Oh no, I haven't. It's down here. Oh, this has turned into a very disorganised stream, isn't it, today? So where have they stuck theirs? Okay. It says in the book where the actual beacles go. So number one. What's one? Not even on there. Are oh, there mortis symbols? So we're not too bothered about that. We don't want that. Ah, they stuck one on the head. I didn't think of that. Clever. So we can stick one on his head. There's middle of the head. And that's one of those ones up the top. Yeah, I see that. Uh, no, fours they've put on the side of the gun arms. Okay. Yeah. And the 22s. Where have they stuck them? They're not on there. Where's that then, huh? It says 22. Where's that? Not on there. Must be on another page. Oh, we forgot the knees, didn't we? The knees. 
we can have uh, oh the crocs croc the crossed axes go on the knees i see we really should have wheeled this out earlier where's my chopper So these go on the knee, the crossed axes. And then we drop them on the floor, of course. And I've found a hair. They'll be for the knee. What goes on the middle of the head? Them ones, we want a black one for that. I like the look of that one, that's a bit more uh, intriguing as a logo. So that's the middle of the head. When I, what? Shield, oh, them shields. I wonder what the hell I was up to then. Um, so we need the other knee and we want the white Bits out in the middle of there. We did spot that earlier, didn't we? So that'll be his uh, his left knee. This will be his knee right. There's quite a lot of decals now. I'm looking at it. Okay, this is good. I do have an itchy ear hole. Excuse me. Um, so they've got them fours on the, the side of the arms. What else have they used for the side of the arms? Nothing. Nothing. Oh yeah, they've used those little uh, eagles that we're using, but we're using those for the missiles because they're going to be clever. What else have they done? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I see your plan there. This one's got bugger on. Uh, yeah, so that's about it. We can just stick some on the side of the arms and they've used number four. There's those again. And we do have enough left. So these will be for the side of the arms. I do wonder if they'll fit. Oh, they'll fit quite comfortably. Okay, that is it. So we have a few spare decals. Well, what have they used them for then? 22. Who used 22? Put it on the side of his leg. But it don't fit. Well, yes, it does, because we've decided to use it. I am stupid. Maybe we should use one of each. Oh, questions. Do we use one of each? Or do we match them? I might even just use one. I think the uh, asymmetrical look always looks better. Yeah, we're just going to use one. But that one doesn't get used. Maybe that'll be for later, later on down the line. So that'll be his uh, arms. There we go. So on that note, I have to say goodbye. Move these items. And uh, tomorrow, we shall be applying the decals. That sounds exciting, for me anyway. So, um, I'm going to say thank you all for coming. I'm going to go and cook some dinner. Actually, before I go, I'm going to take a picture of these because they might all blow across the floor. <laughs> oh, someone subscribed and just hurt my ear. <laughs> but thank you very much for whoever that was. Yeah, tomorrow. What time is it going to be tomorrow? It's going to be early-ish again. I reckon around half five for a couple of hours. About half seven, maybe. Yeah, 
It won't be a long one. Actually, we can paint the nights as well, so yeah. Be about half five, I reckon, tomorrow. But on that note, I shall say uh, good night, good evening. It's been an honour and a pleasure, as always, and uh, I shall see you all later. And this is when the computer won't let me turn it off.